Good morning, Facebookers, lookers, and lurkers. It is Jen on this wonderful Friday morning. It is raining. You know, this is my kind of weather. This is birthday weather, so I'm excited for the rain. Thank you, Lord, for the rain. Um, today, I want to talk to you about I'm with him. You say, what? No, no, we're not talking about Trump. I'm not, I'm not with him. But um, let's look at Luke chapter 16, verse 13. And it says, no one can serve two masters for either he will hate the one and love the other, or he will stand devotedly by one and despise the other. You cannot serve both God and mammon, and that is your earthly possessions or anything else you trust in and rely on instead of God. So where are we going? What, 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 come on, Jen, break this down. What do you mean? I have to hate everything? No, but what are you putting ahead of God. You know, we hear people say all the time, I love my car. I love my house. I love my bracelet. I love my Rolex. I'll have no Rolex. But you know what I'm saying? Where where you spend your time, where you spend your money, that is where, this is bouncing, that is where your heart is. And let's be real. How much time are you spending with God or are you spending time in the world? All of that stuff is not going to go what go with you um, into eternity. A $30 watch is going to tell the same exact time as a $3,000 watch. Now, I'm not knocking it. If you have it like that, that's fine. But I hope that you're spending as much time and investing as much into your spiritual home. Where are you being fed? Are you giving an offering? The tithing? What, what are you doing above and beyond to sow seed into where you worship where you're being fed. You pay for your meals when you go to dinner. So are you paying for your meals when you're being spiritually fed as well? That is the question I have for you. Because it doesn't matter if you're riding with God or if you're riding with Satan. Whoever you're in the car with, guess what? That's where you're going to end up. And as you travel along this uh, journey, along this road called life, remember there is a final destination. And it is up to you as to where you will spend eternity. You can either spend it with God in heaven or you can spend it with Satan in hell. But that is not God's will for your life. God has invited you. He wants you to spend eternity with him. He wants to be in your life, but he's not a forceful God. He is not going to force himself on you. You have to invite him in. And guess what? While you're in the car, riding to wherever your eternity is going to take you, spend time, enjoy that time. Talk with him, walk with him. You know what? Listen to some music. It, I party, okay? We're going to celebrate and praise and worship in the car on this journey called life. Guess what? And when you're on the road to wherever it is you're headed, guess what? There are going to be bumps, just like when you get in your car. Here he goes again, right? When you guys get in your car, there are bumps in the road as you get to work on your way to work, but you still have a final destination, which... God willing, you make it there without incident. Yeah, there's some, maybe some traffic, some hiccups, but guess what? You are still riding, and God is faithful and just to take you exactly to where he wants you to be. But if you are riding with Satan and you are serving sin and you are serving money, guess what? Your final destination is hell. And with that, you know, I hope you do some research because people say all the time, heaven and hell are not for real. Well, my question to you is this. You say, what if I'm wrong? My question to you is, what if I'm right? There is no consequence if I believe how some people believe, right? But if you don't believe in what I believe, there is a consequence. Um, and with that, I'm not trying, I'm not going to force feed you. I'm not going to tell you, oh, you're going to go to hell. No, I'm saying, read it for yourself, make a decision and spend time with the most high because he wants to spend time with you. I know I enjoy that time. Um, Today is a great day. We're counting down the days to my birthday. I am anyway. Nobody else has to count with me. We got 15 to go. You guys have a fantastic day and be safe out in this weather. I know it's storming here. It's storming. I was told it was storming in Atlanta. My brother's there now. Um, so please be safe on the highways and byways. Spend time with God today and think about it. Who are you with? I'm with him. So I will talk to you guys later. Be blessed and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.